find the exact general solution of the equation sine uh, 3 times x minus pi by 3 plus 1 is equal to 0.5. And we want to write this up to, uh, this is up to three decimal places. So yeah, the first thing that we need to do is to write this in, in terms of, uh, first let's simplify the left hand side or take away one from this side to the other side. So, uh, let me, yeah, this is my pin. So, if you move one to the other side, I can say, well, sine, sine three times x minus pi by three is equal to, this is half, take away one is negative half or negative 0.5. So I want to write this as a. Uh, I want to write this as sine of something. So this is sine three times x minus pi by three is equal to sine of what? Okay, so this is equal to sine inverse. So I can take mm, sine of something. Okay, well, now if you take sine inverse of negative half, so let me use my calculator. So first, let me change this into, let me go to run menu and change this into degrees. First change in degrees and I'll go shift sine of negative half, negative 0 0.5 that is how many degrees this is minus 30 and minus 30 is same as minus 30 pi over 180 so well that is minus 30 pi over 180 because if you want to change degrees into radians I like to work in degrees and then change into radians so well this is sine of 3 x minus pi by 3 is equal to sine is equal to sine of negative pi by 6 this is negative pi by 6 so now let's use the general formula so what does the general formula say if sine if sine theta is equal to sine alpha sine theta is equal to sine alpha this implies your theta this is your theta you can compare this with theta and this with pi so your theta is equal to uh, n pi n pi plus negative 1 raised to n times alpha so let me change color so this implies I can say 3 times x minus pi by 3 comparing theta with this whole thing is equal to n pi will be n pi plus negative 1 raised to n times negative pi by 6 so what can we do now <coughs> So, I'm going to divide the whole thing by 3 now. So, this implies x minus pi by 3. We want the exact and the general solution. So, this will be n pi by 3. n pi by 3. Now, this, if you, this will be plus minus 1 raised to n times negative pi by 18 negative pi by 18 you're dividing by 3 so I'll do the next working here so this implies you can say x is equal to I'm going to add pi by 3 to both sides so this will become n pi by 3 n pi by 3 this this minus will make this plus into minus so this is minus a minus 1 raised to n times pi by 3 pi by 18 sorry 
pi by 18 plus pi by 3. So this is the general and exact solution. This is the general and exact solution of this equation. So n pi by 3, this plus and this minus makes this minus and this is pi by 18 plus pi by 3 by adding pi by 3 to both sides.